Right, so for this week's lesson, we're going to graph quadratic functions and analyze the graph. So by the end of this video, you should be able to find the domain and the range of a quadratic function, the vertex of the given parabola, uh, the zeros or the x-intercepts of the parabola, and the axis of symmetry. So uh, for this example, I'm going to use f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 9. And I already did a, a sketch of it. You can always use uh, Desmos, the graphing calculator. Uh, to graph it, it makes it so much easier to, to be able to analyze everything and be able to find whatever it is that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get started with the domain first. The very first thing we need to remember about domain is uh, domain is x. So if you have a multiple choice question and you see that one of the answer choices is or includes y, then that would be considered a wrong answer for the domain. Okay, so let's go ahead and analyze the, the parabola. Um, I have arrows that are continuously going to the left and to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this parabola into a um, horizontal line. Kind of like that. The reason I wanted to do that is because now I'm going to be able to see that this parabola, if I'm able to stretch it into, the, into a horizontal line, which would be uh, parallel to the x-axis, I would be able to uh, tell that the parabola is going to negative infinity and to positive infinity, which would mean that the domain of this particular graph is any number of x which would mean that the domain is all real numbers. So the domain is all real numbers. Now let's focus on the range. The range is all the possible values of y. So that's the first thing you need to be able to see y, range is y, or f of x. Uh, so if you have a multiple choice question and one of the answer choices includes an X, that would not be the range. They would probably be talking about the domain. So you can always eliminate those answer choices. Okay, so for the range, we're, gonna, we're going to be looking at the highest point and the lowest point. The highest point is up here at 9. The lowest point, there is no lowest point. It goes down to negative infinity, it never stops, which means that y can be any number that's 9 or below 9. Below basically meaning less than, so any number that's 9 or less than 9. Making it so less than or equal to 9. One of the things we need to remember about the vertex is that the vertex is the minimum or the maximum point of the parabola. So when you analyze this parabola, you notice that you do have a maximum point. So that maximum point is your vertex. All I need to do is answer this as a coordinate point, which would be, in this case, x is 0 and the value of y is 9. That would be the vertex. The zeros are x-intercept. So I'm going to look at this in... I can see there's an x-intercept right there, which is negative 3. So I'm going to write it down as a solution set, negative 3. And my other solution would be positive 3. So I'm going to do a comma, positive 3, close the solution set, and those would be my zeros. And lastly, the axis of symmetry. Uh, the axis of symmetry is the line that cuts the parabola in half, and it is a vertical line. So because it is a vertical line, the axis of symmetry will start with x is equal, and, well, let's see, if I draw the vertical line right there, it's going through when x is zero. And as you can see, it is also the x value of the vertex. Here's a few things that are going to be helpful for your assignment this week. Uh, remember that domain is all the x values, all the possible x values in your, in your graph. Um, 
and the range is all the y values in the graph okay uh, it's very easy to get those two mixed up uh, just remember that domain is all x values and range is all possible y values uh, the vertex would be either minimum point or your maximum point you would have to analyze your graph your parabola and determine if you have a minimum point or a maximum point uh, the axis of symmetry is a vertical line which cuts the parabola in half uh, and because it's a vertical line the axis of symmetry will always start with x equals and lastly zeros which are x intercepts uh, when you graph your quadratic functions you're going to be able to see that some parabolas have two solutions or two zeros uh, there's parabolas that only have one solution or one zero and there are parabolas that have none they never intercept the y-axis so those are considered zero or no solutions